Elder Scrolls 6 is far off in the future at this point. But hey, we can mod Skyrim, can't we? Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on GameRank's 8 Skyrim graphics mods that will compete with Elder Scrolls 6. Just a quick disclaimer to state the obvious, yes, we don't know what Elder Scrolls 6 looks like, and we don't know exactly what kind of graphical techniques it's going to use. What we're really meaning to do here is to simply showcase some very good Skyrim graphics mods that make the game look significantly better. That out of the way, starting off with number eight, the Skyrim SE mod list version 1.1. Now this is 150 specifically curated mods that all work together to make Skyrim into this absolutely amazing and beautiful, much better looking game. Now, keep in mind, this is a curated list of mods. It's lots of mods, 150, but you don't have to install all 150. I'm sure you could, and I'm sure it would make the game look very nice. And it's possible because they're all compatible with each other, of course. But it was curated by ESO and Ultimate Immersion, two YouTubers who do stuff with mods for Skyrim and other games in that area, Fallout, etc. This is, again, a Skyrim Special Edition mod pack that does just an absolute ton with atmosphere, shaders, textures, and it really makes the game a lot better looking. Number seven is Skyrim Flora Overhaul. Now, I've never actually thought that the flora, the plants and stuff in Skyrim actually was bad, especially for the time it came out in. However, this modder made everything much prettier. For one, there is so much more grass texture on the ground, and it's so much prettier. When you go somewhere where there's a nice dense layer of grass on the ground, it's just definitely up in intensity and realism to at least some extent. It also adds a lot more bushes and trees so that they're a lot more diverse. Trees are a lot taller. I mean, this is Skyrim, the untouched wilderness in a lot of it. Of course, some of these trees should be a lot larger. In areas where there's snow, that's where it really shines though. This modder has done so much with snowy trees. It looks, I would say, significantly more realistic. The way the snow is weighing down the trees just really looks more real to me. The old way isn't bad or anything. It just isn't like thick snow and the trees aren't nearly as thick. Skyrim Flora Overhaul it really, really ups the graphical fidelity of the game. Number six is Total Character Makeover, which doesn't go ahead and like give you a brand new model for absolutely every single character in the game or anything like that. However, what it does do is smooth out rough edges, give higher resolution textures, make hands less strange because let's just face it, it's Skyrim. I mean, like to completely redesign every character in Skyrim would be weird. It would be difficult. It would be very, very time taxing. It wouldn't be something someone would want to do. And if you only went ahead and did it with a few of them, it'd look very weird. I think this is basically your best option. The kind of thing that improves the look of the game in a manner that almost feels unnoticeable, but as you're playing, you're like, yeah, oh, I see it. And number five is Realistic Water 2 SE, which lives up to its name. It really does a great job of making the water much more beautiful and real looking. When Skyrim came out, actually, I remember one of the big features, in my opinion, was the water. It was really, really beautiful. However, as other video games took water effects to another level, when you look back on it, it's kind of simplistic. Realistic Water 2 does a lot in fixing that. It's also really cool because it makes literally every body of water in the game visually distinct in some way. They also changed some aspects of the Skyrim flowing water that was added to Special Edition, and they did cool stuff like adding waves from the Dragonborn DLC to the Skyrim coastline, which I think really manages to up the look a lot. It's not just textures, though. They also smoothed a lot of 3D geometry, added particle splashes, retextured a lot of things like the foam. I mean, it's really a detailed and genuinely visually amazing water mod. At number four is another lighting mod, the Realistic Lighting Overhaul. Now, this is not some post-processing added to the game. 
which don't get me wrong, can do a lot in making the game look nice, but this is an actual systemic overhaul of how light works in Skyrim in engine. It's also specifically for the purposes of realism as opposed to drama or screenshots or what have you. Keeping this in mind, it really succeeds in what it's trying to do. It doesn't just relight exteriors or interior lighting, it redoes lighting in Skyrim. And it's pretty darn impressive. Probably the easiest to notice change is the window light. It actually changes depending on time of day, which is, I mean, a big boon as far as realism goes. And given that that's what the aim of the mod to make the light feel more natural and realistic is, that's exactly what you want. This is the fifth version of this mod, and at this point, it's really a comprehensive package. And number three is JK's Skyrim All-in-One, which is basically an overhaul of the cities and towns in Skyrim. Now, it's not something that makes them totally different or anything. It simply adds a lot of detail to all of these cities and towns. It's particularly noticeable in Solitude and Windhelm. I mean, it's not just little aesthetic things. Like, these added large elements to the cities. Statues, architectural details, etc. That just make these locations more distinct and obvious as their own little compartmentalized places in the world. Now his description is very quick to mention that it is lore friendly because it does add a lot to these cities, but apparently it doesn't in a manner that violates any kind of internal lore, which is good. At number two is the Static Mesh Improvement mod, which just does a very large amount of making things that don't move in the world have a higher detail, both the mesh, meaning the actual geometry the object is made up of, and the textures. Things like barrels, chairs, dining utensils, wall ornaments, even outdoor stuff like rocks and hills got an upgraded polygon count, which really modernizes a lot of object details. Like for instance, in Riften, the rope, it looks like rope now rather than just like lines with a rope texture on it. It's round and it looks so much better. It's not even comparable. I mean, everything from chains that are huge and bulky look like they have weight now as opposed to just kind of dinky objects that look very much like an old game putting a chain in an environment down to like bread which is appetizing looking now rather than just like a thing and finally at number one is real vision enb regarded as perhaps one of the best enbs enb standing for enhanced natural beauty if you've never heard the term you can only use this mod with the skyrim regular edition it's the only mod that we put on this list which is not compatible with special edition However, it is a very, very nice looking mod. It does an overall realism and atmospheric graphic upgrade and combines with a mod list on the Real Vision page. The collection of mods just creates a game that looks amazing. It almost looks like a current gen game with all this stuff turned on. And really that's kind of the point of attempting to mod Skyrim in such a way. It's attempting to see what this game would have looked like had it had the advantages graphically that games do now. We're not quite at the point where I think genuinely Skyrim is going to compete with the next Elder Scrolls game, but we can see massive improvements to what is frankly a beautiful game. Skyrim had such a massive effect on the idea of an open world, how it works, what you put in it, how you arrange it, what's acceptable, what isn't. And temporarily, it made people think Bethesda was really, 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 really good. Near infallible, if I remember their reputation. They were like, the bugs are charming, and now people are like, hmm, the bugs. I'm still gonna say it. Stop using your engine, Bethesda. For Elder Scrolls 6, just move over to Unreal. And don't make us mod the good stuff in, make this thing graphically impressive. Learn your lesson from Fallout 76 on all the other stuff too, thank you. Have you used any of these mods? Do you enjoy them? Do you think they make some very pretty vistas and views? Leave us a comment, let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. 
If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. The best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. So click subscribe. Don't forget to enable all notifications. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.